In theaters this week, the return of Mean Girls, only this time with a musical twist. Can you be mean when you're singing? An action flick called The Beekeeper that's sadly not about an actual beekeeper, and a biblical dramedy produced by Jay-Z and set in the year AD 33. Don't worry, it'll all make sense soon, because it's all coming up this week on Big Ticket. What was that? Oh Lord, it's the Queen Bee. Regina George. Don't look her in the eye! You could be really hot if you change, like, everything. Bringing a new generation to theaters is Mean Girls, but like a totally new version. Let's put it this way. The book turned hit movie turned Broadway musical is turning into a movie again, only this time it brought the music with it. And back with it is Tina Fey, who wrote the first movie, the Broadway musical, and now this screenplay too. She also reprises her role from the first movie, kinda sorta, along with Tim Meadows. And the guys behind the musicals, music, Jeff Richmond and Neil Benjamin also return to rework their songs for this version. And yet another strong ensemble cast is bringing this updated story to life with names like Angori Rice and Renee Rapp on the young people side and Busy Phillips and Jenna Fisher on the adult. And while this iteration of Mean Girls has evolved with its genre, it's also evolved with the times. But don't worry, don't take my word for it, Tina Fey is a bit more credible on the topic. In what ways is this movie updated, Tina? And did you change the way that you played Miss Norbury at all? No, I don't have enough range. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest joke well, of I the century. <laughs> Tim and I were in sort of like a kind of a weird multiverse thing where we're like, we are the same characters, and this, these people have the same names, but I tried to treat it like, well, teachers see the same patterns over and over and over in their, uh, in their decades mm -hmm. as teachers, so it was like this weird reality of like, they're not the same people. But um, yeah, I mean, I. I, I tried to update it, but I also always try, I don't try to chase like slang or anything that people are saying now because mm -hmm. by the time, it takes a long time to make a movie and it'll be over by the time the movie comes yeah. out. So we just try to have people talk like people and yeah. But then is there, are we gonna have burn book or is it more social media focused? Yeah, I mean, I think you're gonna get a little bit of both. Like for me, a physical, the physical burn book always had this kind of evil power and I didn't want it. I didn't want it to just be like, it's an Instagram account. It's like a, because I was sure. like, oh, I've seen that. Like For this sure. idea that there was this physical thing that then, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. it mm. explodes because of social. You can check out our full interview with Tina and her pals from Mean Girls at Fandango.com. This is private property. Do you know what they do here? Scamming the weakest in our society. Buddy, I'm count to three. One, two. Right. Also opening this week is the action thriller, The Beekeeper. Action star Jason Statham does not play a beekeeper in the literal sense, but rather a former operative of an underground organization called The Beekeepers. But now he's out to get revenge on a company after a phishing scam resulted in his friend's suicide. And adding a little more buzz to this movie, <laughs> see what I did there? With a big action star is a veteran action director in David Ayer. The guy wrote and or directed movies like Training Day, The Fast and the Furious, and Suicide Squad, among others, and should be a nice fit with Statham. Of course, Statham won't be alone as he tends to his hives. I mean, <laughs> tries to find the bad guys. And there's a rather impressive supporting cast helping him out that includes our boy, Josh Hutcherson, along with Mini Driver, Felicia Rashad, and Jeremy Irons. I'm Clarence. Where I'm from, you fight to survive. <laughs> I'm not a bad person, just playing the cards I was dealt. Another new option you'll find in theaters this week is The Book of Clarence. This epic biblical dramedy is set in the year 33 AD when a certain rising messiah was doing big things with his apostles. Inspired by that, a down on his luck family man tries to forge a new path for himself. And leading the way is star Lakeith Stanfield in a dual role. He not only plays the main character Clarence, but also his twin brother Thomas, one of the apostles. And he's joined by a long list of talent that includes David Oyelowo, Alfre Woodard, Tiana Taylor, and James McAvoy, to name a very few. The Book of Clarence has plenty of people to put your faith in behind the scenes as well, with Jameis Samuel directing and folks like James Lasseter and the one and only Jay-Z serving as producers. That's it for this week's Big Ticket. Three very different yet very intriguing options. Good luck deciding. And don't forget, you can get your tickets to all three of these right now at Fandango.com. Thanks for watching Fandango's Big Ticket. See you next week.